Welcome back. So I had a lot of you guys asking me about the 3M gun and uh, is it good for base, clear, and sealer? So I haven't done a video in a while on the 3M performance gun. So I wanna shoot this job today. We're gonna start out with the sealer. We're gonna go to the base and we're gonna go to the clear with the same gun. And uh, I wanna show you guys that it definitely does perform just like they call it. Uh, it's a great gun and we're gonna be putting a new door we got a blend and we had a little repair on this fender here. So we're gonna be shooting the side of this one with the 3M gun. And I wanna show you guys how good it works. And uh, you guys know I use it for base and it's definitely capable of using it for sealer and clear as well. So I'm gonna show you that today with this and let's see what it does. guys so we sealed the job and I did that with a one two so Sherwin Williams likes you to use a smaller head with their sealers and primers than most companies but one of the great benefits to that performance gun is they give you this uh, sheet with it that's laminated so it'll last and it shows you all the setups on it for what heads they want you to use and also how they want you to adjust the gun for each product and what application you guys are using. So they even have the pressure on here and how they want you to adjust it out. So to me, that's a really nice thing that they actually gave you with this gun on how to set it up nice and get it tuned in for what you're actually doing. So I do things according to this with a little twist on them and uh, based off of what material I'm using because they have a broad spectrum of you know materials on this list you know, that may uh, be good for you. But with me, I'm using the one, two for my sealer and it works really nice. And you guys can see how nice it lays it out and how smooth it lays it out. So I like the way that one, two works, but use it and try it, try the one, four. And then if it's putting out a little too much of a big pellet, go ahead and try the one, two out. So we got the sealer on it and uh, we're gonna go ahead and move into the base now. And I'm going to show you guys how great it works for the base. You guys know I use that gun all the time as it is for base coat. And to me, that's where I really like this gun for is the base. But it's definitely a great gun for everything, especially to you guys at home that are going to need one gun for everything. You can change your heads out. You'll have a brand new gun each time you use it. And you can go from your uh, sealer to your base to your clear with the same gun. And the gun's reasonably priced. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how they're how much they're going for at the moment, but I know when I bought mine they were around 250. So So with the base coat, I'm also using the one, two, and you guys seen how easy that head uh, attaches to the gun. You clip it in, you turn that uh, head on it, it locks it into place and it keeps it secure. And it's definitely a big upgrade from the old 3M gun. That old 3M gun up uh, used to have problems with the way it clipped on. And this one is definitely eliminated all those problems that that old gun had. So very, very good gun and you see how it put out that base. We put two coats, we went up with one, we came down with another, and we're gonna let this thing dry, and then uh, we'll be moving into the clear coat. So just wanted to show you a job from start to finish with this gun and show it's definitely capable of doing anything you got. And you guys see that this is a silver. It's a uh, medium silver, a fine silver, so definitely one to test its abilities out. So I definitely think it performs well and you guys will see that once we clear this job and finish it up. So we're gonna spray this clear 
and uh, see how it all looks when it's said and done. All right, the base is all dry. I did do a control coat. I lowered my pressure down to 15 because I was spraying my regular uh, coverage coats 18 to 20 PSI on the gauge on the gun that comes with it. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, clear it now and we're gonna be using the one, two also. And uh, I'll show you this thing all cleared and beautiful and you guys tell me what you think of it. And also let me know if you guys are using the 3N gun or if you're interested in picking one up and what your thoughts are of the gun. So let's clear it. So definitely laying down a nice flat coat with that one two in it and i'm spraying this thing at 25 psi and uh i got it turned in four turns for the fluid from wide open and then i have the uh fan set to wide open on it at the 25 psi so look at how beautiful it's already laying down the first coat we're gonna hit it with with two coats of uh clear and check it out. So you can't deny it, the gun definitely performs as it's called. So beautiful blend, flawless blend, and flawless clear. So well, well, well developed gun. And uh, I love the gun, you guys know I do. So I use it all the time, every day for my base. And this just shows you how you can use it for anything. But I like to use my regular clear gun because I use my gun washer and I just throw it in there and uh, use it. So you definitely can use this gun from start to finish and produce a beautiful OE blend with a factory peel or even a little bit more uh, flatter than a factory peel here. This one looks really, really nice. So just wanted to show you guys what the 3M gun is all about to some of you guys that were asking me because you guys know I use it for base all the time definitely can do it all with it so i hope you guys check into them because to me for the money it's hard to beat them and those heads last a long long time and they're definitely well worth it so give it a thumbs up and check into the 3m gun and we'll see you on the next one